Hello my beautiful love goods and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am finally using some of the new content that we received in a recent patch and uh, this is all the debug items that we got. The, yeah it's, it's, it's incredible. So um, I actually saw this trailer bed uh, in the debug items and I think someone on Twitter said hey this would be great for tiny houses. I can't remember who um, but yes it is. So I decided to build a tiny house on wheels. I've never actually been able to do this in The Sims 4 and I'm so excited that we finally got this item. I think this came with get together if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it could be, um, it could also be cats and dogs. I can't remember. But yeah, it's super exciting. So I just built a really simple kind of square you know, rectangular tiny house, very, very basic shape, but it's really, really cute. And uh, it definitely looks like someone who lives in this tiny house travels with it a lot. So yeah, and I wanted to make it kind of quirky, you know, kind of funky, kind of fun, but simple and modern at the same time. So yeah, it was heckin' cute. It was a lot of fun. And uh, it's definitely going to be, um, it's definitely going to be a, like, get a lot to get used to with all these new items. And uh, I also added some solar panels. These came with Get Famous, I'm pretty sure. Uh, these are perfect for tiny houses. Perfect for just a little bit of decor. And they're free, so, like, you don't have to really worry about, uh, you know, them impacting your builds or anything. You can do this in your starter houses. It's just, yeah, it's really, really awesome. So this house is available on The Sims 4 Gallery. All you have to do is search for my username, Lukey Dean, and the hashtag Lukey. So yeah, it's super exciting. Are you all enjoying the new patch? I hope you are because I sure am. There's a lot of items in the patch that, <laughs> that I'm like, okay, like, kind of in love with like beyond anything like it was just yeah it was great but um, I, de I definitely see a lot of potential with this stuff too because um, pretty much everything that came with the patch is free content um, not free as in I mean yeah it is free but like free as in there it doesn't cost any simoleons so you you can build starter houses that are more detailed now and I'm really really excited about that so now, just keep in mind with this new content, uh, it's since it's debug items, uh, they're not really like true items in the game, meaning that your Sims will kind of just walk through them. But um, it, I mean, hey, at least there won't be any routing issues if you go crazy with clutter. So that's one perk, I guess. But this house, though, it is only suitable for one Sim, uh, and it came in to be around 30,000 simoleons. So if you if you create a Sim with the new storyline options in Create a Sim, that seemed a little bit redundant, um, you can actually get the chance of them having high funds for starting out. And so um, I actually played around with this um, quite a lot, actually, because I was really curious on how it works. And uh, basically... For every sim that you create with that, regardless of how many sims are in a household, you get so much money. So I actually was playing around with making uh, making a mom and two daughters, and I was just going to build them a house, and I still haven't built them a house yet, but I want to. Um, and I was just playing around with uh, making them. I made all three of them with that new function, and um, they actually had about 60,000 simoleons to start out with, which is really, really awesome. So great for families and stuff. It's just great it's a great starting out point for families and I just I think it's such a good thing that they did that because it really opens up what we can do for starter houses as well so this could definitely be a starter house for a sim that starts out with a little bit more money um, for high starter funds I think it was around 32 to 34 thousand simoleons um, I'm pretty sure I actually made a sim and moved him into an apartment in uh, San Mishino and I he had high starter funds so I was able to go really crazy with the apartment and I'm also really excited to show you all that apartment it's really really cute and it's kind of one of my best builds that I've ever done I'm not even gonna lie it's, it's, it's amazing and I was just looking at some of the content that we received and there was just a baby and I just was like I don't know what this is here for but okay so um but anyway it is gonna take a lot of time to get used to finding these things because the downside to all of these uh, items being patched in is that to find them you have to type in two separate cheats and then search debug with the little asterisks like I have there on the on the lower on the lower left corner ish area and yeah you have to scroll through so many items and you can't duplicate items you can't use the eyedropper you can't use shift click to duplicate it's just 
you have to search for the items every single time and that can't be a that can be a little bit of a pain so yeah it's not something i'm going to do for every single build because that would take me so long but you know if i'm like in the mood i'll like stop recording and i'll look for some items that i might use for the build or something like that you never know um but th but this does open up a lot of possibilities to blend our own builds into the world so it doesn't look like it, is, it doesn't look like our builds stick out too much from the world, at least. I mean, they do blend in, but you know what I mean. We can bring items from the world into the builds so that it's kind of a little bit more seamless. So, yeah, super exciting. I hope that, you know, y'all are enjoying the new patch as well. What do you all think of the new Create-A-Sim functionality? Um, basically, there's an option in Create-A-Sim now, and you don't have to do it. You can opt out if you don't want to, but if you're starting a, creating a new sim, basically you answer some questions. It's like a little questionnaire for your sim, and then they kind of give the sim traits and an aspiration as well as skills, and they give, they give the sim like two skills, and sometimes they get a bonus skill depending on, you know, their you know, career and stuff. And it's really, really cool. I just, it's really interesting. And they also get um, funds as well. So, and in, like I said earlier, multiple Sims in a household, if you make them all with that functionality, they actually get more money. So it's a really awesome way to start out. And uh, it's really smart too, because I feel like 20,000 simoleons, um, you know, 22,000 simoleons, stuff like that for smaller family houses. It's, it's or, uh, not family houses for smaller families. It's kind of, it's kind of limiting. And in, in this regard, you know, you have the chance of getting a little bit more money for your Sim families and uh, it's nice. It's just like a nice little extra something. So yeah, I'm actually really, really excited. It really does add a little bit of realism to the game. It's just, it's just fun to have something different. So yeah. And the cool thing is, is that you don't like, the thing is, is that you can't change the traits once you're done with that questionnaire, but you can always type in the cheat has dot full edit mode and then just jump back into create a sim if you desperately want to change them. But I kind of like the idea that you can't because it's like, oh, here's your sim. Now you can kind of learn them yourself because after a while it gets really repetitive and you know, it's nice to kind of have a little bit of restriction sometimes. So yeah, but after all the rambling aside, um, how are you all? I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I actually had a live stream the other day. I think it was, yeah, day before yesterday, I'm pretty sure. What is my memory? Um, actually, I don't know. The The timing on my videos is completely off in real time. So um, I, did, I had a recent stream where I streamed Stardew Valley and I had so much fun with it. And uh, I did get a webcam. So um, it's coming in the mail on Sunday. Um, again, this is not relevant to you. I'm just speaking. Um, but seriously, um, I'm getting a webcam and uh, next, hopefully my next stream, I will have my face in it. Be kind of nice because... Um, I don't know. Just, you know, I feel like it's a lot more personal. Um, my, my friend, he always tells me, you know, when we talk about YouTube and stuff, he always tells me, he's like, listen, showing your face people, like it grows your audience more. And it's, it's kind of true. Like if it, it putting a face to the voice you hear and stuff like that in these types of videos, like I'm not going to do webcam in my speed builds, but in like let's builds and let's plays and s live streams, I will definitely try to use that webcam and um it's just a cheaper logitech webcam it's probably not the best quality let's be real but you know it's a good start it's you know it's it's got to be at least better than the webcam that was on my laptop so and even if it's not much better it doesn't really matter it's not about the quality it's just about showing my face you know but you know my face just looks gorgeous in any camera so you know i don't need nothing strong anyway i'm i'm kidding uh, but not really i mean I'm, I'm i'm gorgeous i mean i'm not gonna lie i mean i i see myself as a beautiful ass person and we all should just saying you look in the mirror you should be like girl you beautiful you know, listen to some Lizzo and honey, you will feel that confidence. I'm not kidding. Lizzo is my new favorite artist right now. Oh my goodness. She is. Oh gosh. When I listen to her music, I just want to, I just feel like I could take on the world. I feel amazing and so empowered. And one of my favorite songs is actually like a girl. And she, there was a part in the song that was, that was honestly so empowering to me because, you know, I am a non-binary person, but it's just, it, the, the sentiment of it kind of means anything. It's not just one thing, but she basically says, if you feel, if you're, if you feel like a girl, then you're real like a girl, basically. And just the sentiment behind that, it's just kind of nice because it's like, I don't know, it's just, it just warmed my heart. I love her so much. She's amazing. And 
Yeah, she's just so cool. So cool. She's such a cool-ass lady. Like, oh my gosh, she's so incredible. Um, another song. Oh, this is something I've just discovered, and this song has been out for years, but it's by Hosier. Is it Hosier? Is that how you say his name? He's Irish. He's beautiful. Um, but he has a song called Cherry Wine, and it's so somber and sad, but the way he plays it on the guitar when it's like an acoustic version, it's so good oh my gosh I love I love listening to it because it's just such a complex song and it makes me want to practice guitar and get back into that again it's just uh, I've got so many so many hobbies that I enjoy and I just don't have enough time to focus on all of them anymore like it's not even that YouTube takes up time it's it's just I have so many things that I like to do I like to paint I like to draw I like to you know um I like to write sometimes. I like to, you know, sing. I like to play guitar. I like to build in The Sims. And then I have my job. And then I have YouTube. So it's just, sometimes it can be a lot. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just, it's fun that I can do that sometimes. But we're getting to the end of the build. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, it, it was really, really fun just looking through all the stuff and just seeing what I could do. It, this is a really quirky build. And I just, I think that this patch just made it that much better. We got a few more items that I could use. And the trailer was really realistic. That truck, oh my gosh, I'm so happy we have trucks and cars and all sorts of stuff. It's just, uh, it's it's amazing. 10 out of 10 EA. The the redesign the rebrand is terrible, but you did a good job with this patch anyway. I will say really quickly though, before uh, I end it here, uh, they are getting a new loading screen. The color is going to be changing, so don't worry. We're going to have a darker blue. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. P please be sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe if you're new. Become a love good and all that good stuff. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles. Yeah.